Hey everyone, Scalty here. Uh, a couple of people have reached out in the comments on some of the previous videos that I put up asking for some advice on how to build some sort of scaffolding around the structure to make it easier building it because there is a lot of verticality to it and there's no real native or intuitive means to navigate from floor to floor. So what I've taken here, this is the reinforced iron plate factory. I've taken out all the walls and all the cabling uh, so that way I have access to it and it's easier to show you guys uh, some of the recommended methods and how to navigate the space here. So first off, we're going to start with probably the easiest and even potentially the recommended way to uh, navigate vertically with this whole structure here. And that is to use the stackable conveyor pole because the sides here are ladders, so you can just climb up these. And if you wanted something that is uh, semi-permanent or permanent for your design, if you look here, hopefully you guys didn't hear me just scratching my beard, that'll be a little weird. Um, if you did, I apologize. But the stackable conveyor pole can clip into uh, surfaces. And if you are not opposed to clipping, uh, then by all means, this method is probably right up your alley. Uh, if you really didn't want to clip, then... So for example, we have this vertical clearance here. There's nothing in this space going all the way up to the top of the factory. We have a little bit of the lip from the constructor up top there, but we can go ahead and take a stackable conveyor pole. This would be the, the non-clipping method. Uh, and building it parallel to the walls here. And as you are climbing this, whoops, you can just build as needed all the way up. And if you wanted to preemptively build this up, you know, just spam it, I don't know, maybe that, would, maybe that was like 20 times. Uh, and you can come up to the top here, maybe get rid of that one and that one there, you won't really need it. But that'll get you all the way up to the top of the factory and then, you know, if you want, you can always just drop down to the next floor or if you're starting from down below again, you can just climb up and then look to your right and just hop right on off to the to the floor that you need and navigate the space this way. Pretty simple, very non-intrusive uh, and easy to set up and acquire because by the time you will be building this factory you probably have this tool unlocked in the hub because uh, I think that's actually part of like the lift this lift um, tier the alternative and this I would recommend this is probably one of the first things I would ever get out of the awesome shop here and that is the double ramp pack this is a wonderful tool for exploring and navigating not only factories but also the world in general so as a quick example for you guys, so say for example you wanted to get up onto that cliff over there and the only thing you really have access to at the moment are standard ramps. So you start your ramp like so in the ground, but then if you wanted to build the next ramp up, you can't just naturally do that. It just builds it next to it so you're like, oh crap, well that kind of sucks. So then what you would have to do is take a flat foundation, then build the ramp on top and then take another fo flat foundation and then build another ramp on top, etc. And so you're, you know, you're using, at this point, twice the concrete, um, almost. I guess this takes five and these take six. So you're still using an excessive amount of concrete versus the 8x8 eight eight double ramp. As you can see, it is an inverted 8x4 and a standard 8x4 ramp. And it still only uses five concrete. So you're actually saving concrete even if you could use the regular 8x4 ramp and stack it up, you're actually still saving concrete using this method. So when you actually place these and you go to build it up next, you can see that it snaps to the next position in place for you to just keep running up. And you can just, you know, run all day oop, or fall off um, and just keep building your ramp up. It's a very, very helpful quality of life system to uh, explore your world and again build up for your factory area. So for example, how I would use it in this situation, this is actually how I did use it uh, when I was initially playing in my survival uh, <clears throat> survival save, excuse me, is just taking the double ramp pack. Uh, so we have this, you know, border foundation, if you've seen the video, that we keep clear so that way we can build walls. Just build on the outside of it and just build all the way up. Uh, and you pretty much want to need to do this uh, one step away anyway so that way you can put these lifts in place and then you know, same thing when you come to this edge and you have a turn. Uh, you can either just take your 8x8 and rotate it 
and just either jump up or you can just take a regular 8x4 foundation it'll build it flat next to it and then just keep building up as needed to the height that you need to get in and uh, you know place foundations belt work etc uh, and do like that another thing I would highly recommend uh, especially with vertical building should you maybe say fall off the edge here so I have full health and I currently have godlike on so let me turn that off so I will now take or I'm sorry god so if I take that off I'll now take damage so if I have the blade runner I'm going to fall off the side um, and say you're, you know, you're running around doing bell work stuff like that you're trying to get something placed and oh crap you fell off oh no you're not gonna die more likely than not as long as you have full health as you can see you know, we lost a little over half our health but this reduces uh, impact fall impact damage uh, which is extremely beneficial especially when again you're building vertically and also you can see here a natural standard jump takes you up a single 8x4 foundation space versus not having that you know you don't even get maybe halfway uh, and you can even try doing the you know the whole running crouching jumping situation which gives you a little extra height that won't work so I would highly recommend finding some finding a Caterium node somewhere and even if you have to place down some manual miners to get the Caterium to actually like unlock these do so these are such a boon uh, for any you know for building your factory and also again general exploration no different than these double ramps here so with that I hope these two scaffolding methods uh, help one is you know you have to spend some coupons to get it but there's you know quite a bit of use case in the double ramp pack and then also the conveyor stackable conveyor pole to use as well so if these worked out let me know I hope these do if not and you want some kind of alternative solution let me know I'll see what I can figure out and but with that it's a you know just a short video to briefly demonstrate uh, an easy way or an easier way to try and build these factories than maybe what you've been using without having to download a mod and actually real quick with the t talking about mods I would highly recommend maybe you don't have a lot of time to play the game uh, like me I try to balance a full-time job and uh, you know social obligations be it friends family loved ones etc this mod uh, this is the pack utilities mod you can also do flying with the uh, area actions tool <clears throat> I would highly recommend it for saving yourself some time uh, just to being able to navigate uh, you know time is of the essence especially because this game can take a long time to really feel like you're progressing forward which is something I struggled with and trying to maintain you know alright here's what I got planned out for today I have an hour or so to to get X Y or Z done um, it, and just hold yourself accountable only fly when it comes to building a factory you're not going to use it to you know go out and explore anywhere or you know get to a height that you normally wouldn't be able to do so etc um, so yeah just hold yourself accountable and it's very easy to install mods if you're not familiar um, there's a satisfactory mod launcher I'll have a link to the download in the description of the video um, plenty of mods for you to, to choose in there be careful with it you can definitely go overboard and kind of risk ruining the experience uh, that was why I hesitated on installing mods for the longest time in the first place but it got to the point where the benefit of having the mod outweighed there's more pros than cons uh, in the situation so if the scaffolding isn't working out for you and you just want to you know get these done uh, check out the mod app link in the description in the description below download that and then you can either do pack which is p-a-k uh, pack utility mod or area actions so with that I hope this video was helpful and I will see you guys in the next video take care